So we finally have a little bit more details about the specifics when it comes to Beta O'Rourke's first day fundraising totals. And it's clear to me now why he didn't want to release these numbers because pretty much like I suspected, he has far less donors individually than Bernie Sanders as far as we know. And the average contribution is much higher than Bernie's. So as CNN reports, Beto O'Rourke says he averaged $47 per donation in his first record-breaking $6.1 million fundraising haul on the first day of his presidential campaign. The former Texas congressman told reporters in New Hampshire on Wednesday that the total came from 128,000 separate donors. O'Rourke's campaign is rejecting donations from political action committees, so the contributions come from individuals. O'Rourke's $47 per donation average matches the average contribution he received in 2018's Texas Senate race, where he smashed all previous Senate campaign fundraising records and raised $80 million. Now, I do also want to draw your attention to a seemingly innocuous detail, and that is individual donors versus unique contributions. Because as Beth puts it, Bernie had 223,000 donors. Beto had 128,000 unique contributions, which means through Dem bundlers, one person could donate several times to artificially inflate numbers. And that is a really important point. Because... Individual donors is different than unique contributions. But with that being said, these numbers, they're still good. This is something that Beto O'Rourke can still brag about. Absolutely, you can't take that away from him. And just the number, 6.1 million, you can't deny that his first day was successful. But for your average contribution to be $47, what that tells me is that it's not as grassroots as Bernie Sanders. Because with Bernie Sanders, you see people chipping in $5 and $1, but his average contribution is $20 more than Bernie's. Which means there's a lot of wealthier people or more financially well-off people contributing to Beto O'Rourke's campaign. If you raise $6.1 million, then certainly you have a place in this field, apparently. There's enough people or enough money to propel your campaign and like it or not, he's going to be in this race for a while. If you can raise 6.1 million in 24 hours, regardless of who that came from, then you do have some fuel in that tank. And I hate to admit it, but it's certainly something that we need to grapple with as Sanders supporters, and we shouldn't try to downplay this. We need to take him as the threat that he is in reality. Because yes, $47 as your average donation, that's embarrassing. That it makes it clear why he didn't want to release that number, but still, the fact that he's able to raise this money and the fact that he has a lot of centrists and elites behind him who have more disposable cash, that tells us that we're going to have to work really hard where we can make it up. And hopefully that is in the area of canvassing and phone banking for Bernie Sanders. And you can even text bank if you don't want to talk directly to people. So, you know, I just wanted to share this with you because it's been a pretty big point of discussion on the internet and Twitter. So, yeah, it's not too surprising. I expected him to have less unique contributions. We don't know how many individual donors he had, which I'd guess it's less than the 128K number, but nonetheless, it's still good numbers for him, but um, it's not as grassroots as Bernie. $47 as your average contribution is not as impressive as 27 and raising 5.9 million, but still, he's a threat and we've got to treat him that way. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.